Namibia continues to make strides in renewable energy to be at the forefront of green hydrogen development in view of its potential to generate solar power. The plant, which is a demonstration hub for hydrogen, will be built in the Aronga region at a cost of over $272 million. The ONL and CNB Tech established Clean Energy Namibia to develop green hydrogen projects in the country and beyond to produce green hydrogen from solar power and distribute clean fuel to heavy-duty users such as trucks, locomotives, mining equipment and ships. Executive Chairman of the Old Hava and Least Group, Sven Time, says the demonstration plant expected to create employment opportunities will first test the technology under Namibian conditions and assess the feasibility of scaling up the plant in future. The demonstration plant could prove to be the first step in creating an entirely new industry in Namibia in addition to enabling knowledge transfer into our country, upskilling opportunities, creating employment, further driving further research, including collaboration with the University of Namibia and developing future offtake opportunities in sectors such as transportation, mining, heavy machinery and power generation. There has been a hype of enthusiastic pronouncements on green hydrogen since President Hagegengo pronounced his support. Green Hydrogen Commissioner and Presidential Economic Advisor James Nupe says Namibia is trying to ensure that the country has energy security that could contribute to the country's economy. We are exploring the possibility of us off-taking curtailed or even dispatchable power from them at attractive prices, positive, positively impacting our current accounts uh, deficit and of course reducing our cost of electricity and ultimately increasing our own competitiveness as a nation from a manufacturing point of view. So NAM Power, for example, is in discussions with the green hydrogen developers trying to see whether we can come up with a progressive power purchase agreement. So it's not just green hydrogen. We're trying to actually reduce our energy insecurity.